That's the sound of money. And here, high in the mountains above the Salmon River Valley in eastern Idaho, one mining company believes they may be able to find the ingredients that will be keys to our 21st century world. It was copper and gold from our mountains that drove the technology of the 20th century. Now rare earth elements, geological building blocks extracted from rocks like these, are becoming big business. These obscure elements go into products that are becoming increasingly and increasingly more um, important uh, to, to what we need as a society. The demand is driven by the properties of the mysteriously named 17 rare earth elements, especially their magnetic properties. As technology improves, we make gadgets that are smaller and smaller and smaller and, you know, presumably more and more durable. Uh, you're going to require components, specifically magnets, to keep those, you know, tiny moving parts uh, together. Problem is, China has been producing 95% of the rare earth elements. Now new attention is being focused on U.S. sources, including an extensive band of rare earth elements extending through the southern Bitterroot Range, from Lemhi Pass on the south to Sheep Creek near Darby. Two weeks ago, Idaho granted U.S. Rare Earths Inc. a permit to test the middle of that band north of Salmon here in the Diamond Creek drainage. The company hopes to detail the extent of the rare earth elements and feasibility of mining. These are uh, deposits that are very accessible uh, in certain terms of um, being able to come through uh, um, and get to the sites to be able to extract the metals and move them out um, up the manufacturing and supply chain. Um, these are not remote locales, as may be the case in other parts of the world, so that there's that. Elsewhere, rare earth extraction has raised an environmental debate. On one hand, windmills and electric cars help the environment. Surface mines may not. McGrady says advances in mining would keep a balance. These are all environmental advances. We want to take advantage of them by mining these metals in an environmentally safe way. Bitterroot and Salmon Chalice National Forest staff are monitoring the issue, but because our region is so vast, knowing exactly what rare earths are out there is still an emerging picture. So in order to characterize and uh, really quantify what sort of reserves we have out here, that's going to require a lot of uh, legwork and uh, you know a lot of work to, to pull that information together. U.S. rare earth teams will drill through the winter to find at least some of that data. On special assignment, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.